That's what's on our plate today. We're talking about portion control, but this time we've got some great gadgets to make sure that you don't overeat. They're really cool. Wait till you see them. We also are going to be weighing in on a family vacation. How do you do it with the least amount of stress and drama and calories? And finally, a lot of you are doing fish fries on Friday. We're going to do a faux fish fry Friday. I've got a recipe for you. Stay with us. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Rainier. Welcome to Full Plate. I am so glad you're here. You've seen me totally mess up portion control and do completely illogical and unrealistic things to try to keep my portions together. Well, Michelle Rowe, she's always healthy mom. She's been on the show before. She brought us some fantastic new products that make portion control a lot easier. Take a look. These are from Healthy Steps, and they have a great website, myhealthysteps.com. Always Healthy Mom, Michelle Rowe demonstrated the latest products for keeping portion size under control. We start with cookies. Well, if you go to the store today or the bakery, this is the size cookie you're going to get. This is obviously too much. This could feed my whole family. Bigger than my face. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. The scooper makes sure you easily scoop a reasonable amount of cookie dough. This? versus this. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> I'm a giant cookie. The right amount of pasta is always a challenge because the box gives serving size uncooked. Many times I'll do one pan of the pre-measured that I'm that you're doing. Have, okay. And then another pan for my family because they're just going to put it on in their way. Right. And that's not so great sometimes. Now what you're going to do is take this and put in your favorite pasta and there's a line that says one serving. You're going to fill it up to this line. You're going to place it in your pan with your water and it just stays right like that. And then there's enough room for it to kind of expand while it's cooking in there. So you could actually put your yes. family serving, your serving all well, together and if you look, one happy pasta family. You look at the picture. There you go. Aww. So you can do four of them. I love this product. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Then there's the salad dressing cruette. Yep. Salad cruette. Okay. To make sure you don't ruin your good intention salad with too much dressing. What you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze this and it's gonna fill the upper portion of the chamber um, to the top. Then Voila, the two tablespoons, yep. pour out. Genius. Perfect. That's of course, we need something to wash it down. I love a flavored drink. Who doesn't like a flavored drink you today? You mean like vodka or whiskey? No, oh. <laughs> we're always healthy mom here. <laughs> so <Always> drunk mom. <laughs> So you can take your fresh orange, lime, or lemon slice, put it right in here, and then drop that into your pitcher of water, and you can have a flavored water in the summertime. Or if you're Ariel from under the sea, you could wear it. <laughs> under the sea. Then the flipper. Make sure your burger or other protein is no wider than the spatula, and you've got three ounces. Finally, the veggie spoon. One serving is two scoops. See, two scoops makes you feel like... I'm a king! And the company again is called? This is Healthy Steps, and the website is myhealthysteps.com. Excellent. All right, I'm going to just uh, test this big giant cookie. Go for it. <laughs> Good, just a tiny bite. Michelle is so patient with me stealing the unhealthy cookie. The other thing I want to tell you about, these are Rebecca tips. These are things that I do. A lot of times when you have your food, you'll measure it every time you have a bowl of cereal or every time you have a glass of juice. Another way to do this and something that saves a little bit of time for me is measure your actual bowls. Like I know that this bowl will handle three cups of cereal. I know it's three cups. So I, I never have to measure my cereal because I know that's how much fits in there. I also know that this is my 16 ounce glass and this is my eight ounce glass. But because I have short term and long term memory issues, I go one step farther. We want to make this easy and fast. So where I keep my glasses, these are my eight ounce glasses. These are my 16 ounce glasses. It takes away all of the guesswork and the time because it takes time to measure. And I do the same thing over here, like with my actual tablespoons. I know that this tablespoon really is a tablespoon. So instead of every single time making sure I have the right amount, I know that the serving pieces that I have that I eat with every day are a certain amount. So that's just my little Rebecca tip. 
uh, make sure you measure it, pre-measure it, do all the serving pieces you do, and then write it down and post it inside. And if people who come to your house open your cupboard, they get what they get. Usually at my house, stuff falls out. Anyways, that's some of the portion control advice you've got for you today. When we come back, we're going sort of on vacation with some moms who know how to handle a bunch of little ones in the van for 40 hours. Try to make it a little smoother and try to make it a little lighter. Stay with us.